Hi everyone, welcome back to This Book Belongs To, Pam. And as you can see, I quite literally have a mountain behind me. Let's do a book unboxing. I have been amassing this collection of books ever since the start of the year, I feel like. Yeah, I think at the start of the year. And I think it's gotten to a point where it would be fun to unbox all of these together. I don't quite remember which ones I got first, which ones came later. And also, some of my Amazon orders, I ordered like a couple of times on Amazon, but they all came in like separate individual packages. So there's a lot more <laughs> boxes because of that. But I guess it just makes this book unboxing haul a lot more fun. I truly enjoy watching book unboxing videos, so I am so grateful that I can do my own now. So without further ado, let's just dive right into this pile of boxes and see what we have here. It's kind of like Christmas. Let's pick one of the like smaller packages first um, and then let's save this big ones at the bottom for last. First one is this one. It is from Amazon. This actually came quite recently. I think it came yesterday or the other day. I'm so excited. I have a paperback. This one is, oh it's quite beat up. Why is it so beat up? It is so beat up. But anyway, this one is So This Is Ever After by F.T. Lukens. I have never read from this author before. I think I saw it from Fairy Loot or Illumigrate. One of them is doing special editions of four of F.T. Lukens' book, and they all look so good. But I literally have no idea. I just know that it's kind of like a cozy fantasy romance. Oh, okay. So that's why this is kind of beat up. Because as you can see, there's like scuffs and stuff because this is used okay so we have this guy who is reluctantly the king of this kingdom and i think he has to come up with a soulmate or like a partner by his 18th birthday or he's gonna die something like that he basically has to find a partner and i'm assuming this is some queer romance based on the cover which is exciting okay this one is from a local bookstore which is fully booked and I don't know when I got it. Whatever. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So the next book that we have, another paperback. I'm really leaning into the paperbacks, also because they're cheaper. <laughs> I have Happy Place by Emily Henry. I have only read Book Lovers from Emily Henry before. I was just okay with it. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't super good either to me. But I really like the premise of this one because we kind of have a second chance romance fake dating thing going on here. Two characters, they have been like this perfect couple but they broke up and we don't know why. But they have this tradition with their friends where they go to a cottage and they spend like a week there. But this time it's different because their friends are actually selling the cottage. So this is going to be the last time that they're going to be doing that. Harriet and Wynne decides to still pretend that they're a happy couple in order to just make everyone's memories of this last time at the cottage a lot happier. I guess there's still some tension between them. There's still some sparks and we kind of get to see that all play out. Happy Place by Emily Henry. Next one is this one. This very sketchy looking brown paper bag. It's also from a local bookstore called National Bookstore. So the first book in that National Bookstore paper bag is Si Jana Silang at Ang Lihim ng Santinakpan. So this is a book by a Filipino author written in Filipino. And this is the fifth book in the Jana Silang series. I've only read the first two books. I have the next two books. This one was released quite recently, I think, in the last couple of years. Um, yeah, 2021, so it wasn't part of like the set that I bought before, so yeah. Happy to have the fifth book, it's quite chunky, and I really need to get a move on with this series because it was really creepy and super like action-packed, so yeah. Jana Silang at Ang Lihim ng Santinakpan. Next one is quite exciting, I read this quite recently, and it's Alice Oseman's Heartstopper. So I got the third volume because that's the only thing available in the store when I went. I have read this but I just wanted to own it because they're just so cute and I really like the art style. Very simple with a single color like accents. I really like that. And this one is one of my favorite 
um, volumes. This is the one where they go to Paris. So I thought, why not just buy the third one first? I don't need to buy them in order. I've already read them. So yeah, Heartstopper Volume 3. Look at them. So cute. Let's just go with all of the paper bags. This is also from Fully Book. Um, let's see. I have Night Watching by Tracy Sierra. So this is a mystery thriller novel that I think has home invasion themes. I don't think I've ever read a book with home invasion themes and that's actually like super scary. So I thought this would be a really good mystery. What's this? This would be like a really good mystery thriller to try out. I've only seen Jan reading this, Jan from Jan Agaton, and I think she was just so-so with it, but we kind of have a little bit of a different taste in books, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna love this one. So I really want to up my mystery thriller horror books in my library, so I've been trying my best to purchase some of those titles. So yeah, Night Watching by Tracy Shera. Super excited to read this one. This one, it doesn't have any markings, but I think this is from one of my favorite online booksellers it, they're called jason's in this platform called shopee and i like them because they really take care of the books and they ship really fast like if you order today they're gonna ship it tomorrow which is super nice so yeah this one is from them oh okay it's the reappearance of racial price by holly jackson so i have read Good Girl's Guide to Murder by the same author. I enjoyed it. It was YA. It was really easy to read. Um, it wasn't as complex as the other thrillers that I've read, but it was really enjoyable. And this one is, I think, it's a standalone. I just want to have that feeling of super simple, like, nail-biting thriller. Nothing too complex, nothing too dark, I think. I'm not quite sure, actually. The reason why I really wanted to buy a physical copy of this was because I saw the naked cover. Look at that. It says special first edition and it looks like a film strip or like a, yeah, it's like a film strip. There's like a shadowy figure in there and I just found it really pretty. So I got hooked. <laughs> so yeah, I bit the bullet, purchased it. I don't know when I'm going to read it, but I'm super excited because like I said, I really want to read more thrillers like physically so the reappearance of racial price by holly jackson let's let's open some of the amazon packages here oh that was satisfying so the first one is like i mentioned earlier i really wanted to try this author's books and this is spellbound by ft lucan so i only got two of the author's book because one I still want to try it out. I don't want to just jump right in. But also the other two books don't ship to the Philippines. So I would have to make do with this one. This one is, I think it has to do with witches or like sorceress. And it kind of gives me Ghostbusters vibe. <laughs> I don't know, but the covers are so beautiful. Spellbound by F.T. Lucas. The next one is a book that I recently added to my wish list but i saw that it went down in price on amazon so i just bit the bullet and it's also a very pretty book my husband's by Maud ventura like i think this is yeah it is translated fiction and look at that cover oh my gosh it's so pretty like i love painterly covers so pretty i think this is another one of those obsession unhinged women books which i usually love so I wanna check that out. Don't know what this is about. All I know is that the main character is 40 year old and she's like, you know, set for life. She's very wealthy and everything. But then something is like amiss within their marriage. I think they're not like super passionate about each other or something like that. I don't know, but look at the cover. It's beautiful. It's unhinged women. Auto buy. Let's do this one. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, it looks like there's two books in here. I think this one is also from an online bookseller and this one is probably the used books that I got from them. I have been wanting to read this book for a long time. The hold on my library for this is so long that I always like end up just forgetting about it. But I have seen Carrie from Carrie Can Read rave about this book and I usually like the stuff that she likes. So I thought, let's just the trigger by this book olivia blake's one for my enemy 
I have not read anything from Olivia Blake. I know that um, she wrote Atlas Six, and that is kind of like a dark academia book. But I think that also has like mixed reviews from people. Most people say that her writing is kind of flowery and sometimes pretentious. I have a love-hate relationship with that kind of writing. Um, I did not like their Violent Delights because of that writing style. But if Carrie loves this so much, there must be something here. She did not like Atlas 6, but she loved this one. So I want to know what's in this book. And also it's like Romeo and Juliet retelling in the modern period. There's like gangs and stuff. And I love books about those. So I think this could be a book that I would love. So One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. Packed so intensely. Yeah, definitely a used book. The next book in a package is a used book. It's Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. Look at all of that tanning. <laughs> I normally am quite scared to buy books like this, like that's super tan, because I'm like thinking, oh my gosh, is there going to be mold in it or whatever, but I just wanted to read this book um, physically, and I couldn't find a hardcover that's brand new. I think I see a lot of apples never fall. Apples Never Lie, that other book that she has, but I've never seen Nine Perfect Strangers in store, so I thought I'm just gonna buy it used for now, read it if I like it, maybe I'll donate this and then buy a new one. I don't know yet, but yeah, Nine Perfect Strangers, I know that this has something to do with like a spa? Like a, yeah, a health resort. Yeah, it's like a health resort that turns out to be something different. It's giving me Rouge vibes, but we don't know, so yeah. I've never read anything by her, but I know that she's so good at psychological thrillers, I think. So yeah. I have the small boxes. Obviously, this is not a book, but I have been buying a couple of bookmarks in there just because I don't have a lot. This one's packed so nicely. It has like a wax seal and all. It's from Mark Your Book PH. Also got it from an online store. Oh, it even says my name inside. This is such a nice packaging. Takes me back to the time when I used to sell stickers. Um, I would always obsess about how I would package things. Okay. Oh no, I didn't get small bookmarks. These are like freebies. Oh, it's so cute. Look at those stickers. Book shopping. Book shopping is my therapy. That's so cute. And then, let me read in peace. <laughs> Oh, I bought quite a lot. Okay. <laughs> I bought a lot of bookmarks. I think there's like 10 or something. Okay, so the first one is very local, very Filipino. It's quick context. Um, In the Philippines, we have this very famous mode of transportation called the jeepney. And in a jeepney, there's often this sign in the front, in the windshield to tell you where the jeepney is going, the route. So it looks something like this neon signs, and I love it. It's such a cultural moment. And it says here, Mordor Barador. I do not know how to pronounce this, but Gondor and Minas Tirith. I know that these are from Lord of the Rings. I'm going to be reading Lord of the Rings soon, so I thought this was the perfect bookmark for that. And it's just so Filipino. I love it. It's so nice. And the quality is so nice, too. There. And then the next one is Leave Me Alone, I'm Reading in the Penguin Classics um, look. So nice as well. And then this one is, oh, okay. This one is Avatar themed. It has fire with, I'm pretty sure that's Zuko. And then we have, oh, this one it says Do Not Disturb, I'm Off on Adventure. It's like a door. Um, I don't know, door sign? Super cute. This one is you had me at Faded Mates. It's a romance trope. I think I got a set of like romance tropes. And this one is You had me at Grumpy Sunshine. You had me at Forbidden Love. Of course, you had me at Enemies to Lovers. And lastly, you had me at Slow Burn. So super nice quality. I love how buttery soft they feel. Yeah, super nice quality bookmarks from Mark Your Books PH. It feels like heavy. Okay. 
can't. Oh, okay, I can see it now. I have been wanting to read this book for a long time, but I couldn't find it in our local bookstores. So I got it off of Amazon, but then the other day when I went to Fully Book, I actually saw it there. So kind of annoying, but still, it's quite cheaper in Amazon compared here. It's Bright Young Women by Jessica Noel. I love how bright and offensively yellow this cover is. I love it so much and I've read so many good things about this book and it's just something that I've been wanting to read especially since you know I used to be really avid like consumer of true crime um not so much anymore i thought it would be a very good book to read that focuses on the whole commodification of true crime and um focusing on the victims versus like glorifying the perpetrator so yeah really excited to read this one i hate that sometimes amazon puts this like stickers on the back i don't know if i can remove it safely but Anyway, love this cover. So excited to read this one. So yeah, Bright Young Women. We're, we're building quite a stack here, which I love. Also Amazon. Let's see. I think there's just one book here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm so excited for this one. I have been looking for this book for a while. That's the theme here. If it's coming from Amazon, it's usually because I couldn't find it locally. Okay? So... Eliza Clark's Penance. I have been wanting to read this for a while. I know that Cherry from Amelie channel, I think that's her channel name, I'm gonna link her down below. She loves this book so much. She's like the advertisement for this book. And I have been wanting to read this so bad. And yeah, I finally got it. I was supposed to read this for my Magical Readathon TBR, but since I didn't have a physical copy and the wait for the library is so long, I decided to just change that. But now that it's in my hands, not gonna lie, I prefer the edition with the large Eliza Clark and then the orange pennants compared to this subdued coral one. But I don't care, I wanna read this book and yeah, pennants by Eliza Clark. So let's do a plastic. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, 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 okay. These are the clear sticky tabs, but I got it in this, I'm not going to open it, but I got it in this huge size because whenever I want to use the sticky tabs to highlight, so what I do is I put the clear sticky note and I highlight. But what happens with the ones that I have, which are smaller, it doesn't cover the entire width of the page. So I would end up having to only highlight like the middle section of the sentence, which is annoying. This one, as you can see, it's gonna cover the full width of the page. So I can highlight without, you know, worrying about not being able to highlight the edges. So very small problem, but it is very crucial to me as someone who doesn't like writing under books directly. This is gonna come in handy. So I'm just gonna put it here. Another Amazon. Oh, this is a pre-order. Okay, this is a pre-order. I got Court of Whispers by Rin Chapeco. This is the second book in the, I don't know the name of the series, but the first book is Silver Under Nightfall, which is, where is my copy? I have a copy of that somewhere in here. I have a copy of that in here, and that book is in my 12 Rex by 12 Friends. So I thought I'd just buy the sequel without reading the first book and knowing if I liked it. I mean, classic, but... I have read so many good things about it, so I'm kind of confident that I would enjoy it enough to want to read the second book. So, Court of Wonders by Rin Chapeco. I love this cover so much. I'm excited. Let's do this one that's already partially open. So when I bought this, it came in like a plastic bag and stuff. So I just removed the plastic bags, but I haven't removed like the box packaging. So I, oh, there's like three books in here. Okay. I got bookmarks. This one I think is um, Lang Leave themed bookmark. I don't know why I didn't buy any books by Lang Leave. First book is You've Reached Sam by Dustin Thao. I just want to read a book that's going to make me cry. And everyone says that this book will make you cry. So I bought it. <laughs> and I, all I know is that there is this I guess magical realism element to it. I think the guy is dead, but then one day the girl calls his phone and then he answers. So that's kind of like creepy, but also 
I know that's gonna be heartbreaking. So yeah, you've reached Sam. It doesn't sound. I know I'm so late to this. I must read it. But oh, this next one is a risky purchase for me, and definitely a cover buy, but probably not what you're expecting. I got Guardian by Jen Hun. I don't know. I'm sorry if that's the wrong pronunciation, but this is a oh. I thought it was a graphic novel. It's not. It's it's a novel. It's not a graphic novel. I don't know. I thought it was a graphic novel. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I got this was because those two men, beautiful. And I wanted to see more of them. So I thought it was a graphic novel and I thought I was going to see a lot of them. But it's not. It's a novel. Anyway, I'm still interested in the premise. I think it has to do with like spies in the government and... I think there's also a magical element to it. Like, I think one of them is, like, immortal or something. I have no idea. Like, literally, I saw this and I thought, I'm gonna buy it. So, there's also, like, I think two other volumes. Oh, so that's why I thought it was a, it's a graphic novel. It's called Volume 1 in the listing. There are some illustrations here and there. So, all is not lost. I will still see more of them, but yeah. At that so pretty okay this one is a very different book as well um it is a non-fiction it's called cabinet of curiosities by ambeth ocampo so this one is history from philippine artifacts so it's just going through like different filipino artifacts and just you know talking about the history of those artifacts the reason why i got it was because it's written by ambeth ocampo which is a very well-known history professor academic in the Philippines and I've also had the absolute pleasure of being his student and one well not directly like I attended a bunch of his lectures during my days in university because he taught at my school I know how well he talks and how well he explains stuff so I'm sure that this book is gonna be really fun to read and not like dry boring history um, so yeah and there's also a lot of like visuals in here so I'm super excited to just learn more about the Philippines and just more of like our history I think this is really something that I wanted to focus on just Filipino literature and history so Cabinet of Curiosities by Ambet Campo. Okay, that was a very weird box. Like, it had a lot of books that I normally wouldn't get. Okay, let's do this. Another small one. So, this is also probably a bookmark. It says, Handmade Awesomeness Inside. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that thank you note. And then, she also gave me a bunch of stickers. So, this one's kind of like a Tamagotchi. Oh, two Tamagotchi stickers. And also this one that's kind of like a print. I'm worthy of a bright future. Yes, I am. And this is the bookmark. It's a much simpler, like thinner bookmark, but I love the design of it. It says, lifetime member of the Dark Academia Book Club. Time, midnight, dress code, literary chic, admit one, scholar. Yeah, I love that. It's back to back. It's kind of thin though, but... Um, definitely the other ones that I showed you earlier are thicker, but I super love the design, so I don't mind. Next, let's do this small box at the back. Oh, okay. Yes. I have been looking for this book everywhere. I also initially wanted to buy the paperback from Amazon, but the paperback doesn't ship to the Philippines, but the hardback does. So I don't know how that works, but I finally got my hands on... The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. I have been wanting to read this book for a long time. And I'm also going to be reading this for a book project. And I think this is a thriller. Yeah, the first line in the synopsis. Alex Kraft knows how to kill someone. Say no more. Okay, next one is this one. Also from Fully Book. But this time I actually had it shipped instead of buying it in store. So the first book that I got from Fully Booked online is Poor Things by Alasdair Gray. This obviously is a movie tie-in cover, but I just love how that looked. So I didn't mind that it was a movie tie-in. Love this cover so much. I have not watched the movie and it's like printed in this super old looking font. Like look at how old that looks. And I just, I'm curious. I kind of like all of the gimmicks, all of the random stuff that's in here. 
no idea when I'm gonna read it, but I am super curious about it. I'm probably gonna watch the film first. I don't know. Maybe I'll read it first. I don't know. But yeah. Poor Things by Alastor Gray. I love this cover so much. Oop, okay, we have a bookmark. It's a roadmap to your reading. It's the reading challenge by Fully Book. Okay, so the whole reason why I made that purchase in Fully Book was for this book. So Let Them Burn by Camilla Cole. This is the Full Moon Book Club pick for this month. I've started reading this via audiobook. I got to like 5% before I realized that I actually prefer to read it. It's a fantasy book and there are dragons involved. And this cover is just so nice. It could actually also work for a Magical Reason prompt where I have to read a book with yellow title. So nice to touch. There's like an embossing on it. Ooh, love this cover so much. And then this book, I initially was gonna pre-order it, but decided against it. The Warm Hands of Ghosts by Catherine Arden. I love this cover so much. I think this is like historical fiction. I don't know if there's like a magical element to it, but yeah, it's January 1918. Yeah, I don't know really. I just know that it's about the war and it's historical fiction. I quite like historical fiction, so thought I'd give it a go. Warm Hands of Ghost. Super excited to read this. I'm not sure when I want to read it. I'm not in the mood for it just yet. Wow, the blurbs at the back are like big time authors. Lots of praise there. With Down to our last two boxes. Wow, it is super packed inside. So the first book is a used book. It's Missoula. Missoula? I think it's a place. Um, Missoula Rape and Adjustment System in a College Town by John Krakauer. If you saw my January-February wrap-up, you know that I read Into the Wild by John Krakauer, which is a biography, I guess, a biography of this guy. So I think John Krakauer is like an investigative journalist, if I'm not mistaken, so it makes sense that he's writing about this rape case. I have no idea about what this case is about, but I think it's just really a case study for like crimes that are so prevalent in a area, in an area, and really why, like maybe there's corruption, maybe there's like um, cover-ups and stuff, and I really quite liked how he wrote Into the Wild and how he investigated that specific case, so I thought I'd read another one by him. Um, I have no idea what this case is about, but very curious, it's quite long. It's 380-something pages. Um, so yeah, that is Junka Kaur's. Missoula. Missoula. I do not know how to pronounce this place. And then the next one is a book that I've read. I guess, wow, this package is kind of like a theme of sexual assault. So this one is Know My Name by Chanel Miller. I read this memoir last year, I think. And this was just such a powerful book. Such an important read, I believe, for all women. And I really liked how Chanel Miller framed this whole experience, how she wrote about it. I love just how she pulled together different metaphors, different experiences to weave this very compelling narrative about what happened to her and what it means for the greater, I guess, justice system, especially for women and people of color. So yeah, love this one. I'm sure that I'm going to reread it or at least read some passages from it um, every now and then. So I thought I'd just get my own copy. Know my name, read it if you haven't yet. Um, I think the audiobook is narrated by her as well, so that's even more gut-wrenching. So if you want that, you could also listen to it. We are down to the last box, and it's the big boy. This one right here. It's kind of heavy. Got this from an online seller as well. And, oh, there's a lot in here. It's packed. Okay, so the first one at the very top. Pen Pal by Dathan our back our back this is a horror novel i haven't really heard about this book i just wanted to look for more horror novels and this was one of the books in their site and i think it's about a guy trying to figure out something from his past so he starts kind of i don't know collecting letters or writing about it i don't know but i just found the cover creepy and I just wanted to give it a try like that's like the theme of this book haul i just want to give things a try the next one is also a horror mystery thriller episode 13 by craig de yeah craig de i have heard of the author before but 
I haven't read anything from him. It's quite a thick book. That is a chunky book. Um, so this one is, I think, written in letters. Yeah, or like mixed media. Yeah, it looks mixed media. There's a bunch of like other like chat stuff in there. Um, and I think it has to do with this TV show trying to figure out what happened to, I guess, this place. And then it's kind of like the 13th episode. And then there's this um found footage situation going on i don't know but it sounds interesting episode 13 by craig the louis the next one oh another thriller <laughs> i'm really like in my thriller era it's my lovely wife by samantha downing so this is a classic like thriller book that i see people recommend a lot pam from pam shenanigans also recommended this to me um i'm also reading this together with the female of the species for that video so maybe you can guess what the video is going to be about um but yeah my lovely wife by samantha downing i quite like how eerie discover is normally i don't like um realistic people in my covers but i like how eerie this looks and the knife is kind of shiny and reflective I like that. This spine is just creepy. <laughs> Another thriller! I really went on a thriller rampage on this shop. This one is a new release and I've been wanting to read it ever since I saw the blurb. First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. So I think this is a case of like stolen identity, spies, and that's all I know and I said say no more. I'm gonna buy it. A very intriguing. So yeah, First Lie Wins. And another one, also a thriller, but slightly more comedic route. It's Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. I first saw this book on um, Sid from Sid Bookworm's video, and she loved it so much. Like five, I think she gave it five stars. I think so, I'm not quite sure, but yeah. She loved this so much, and I'm intrigued because she talked about how you're solving clues together. I think the author breaks the fourth wall a lot, and I just found it so intriguing the way she described it, so I wanted to read it for myself. Okay, this one I did not buy. I think this was a freebie because I bought a lot, but yeah, it's the second to the last book, but I didn't buy it. It's Leanne Moriarty's The Hypnotist Love Story. So now I have two Leanne Moriarty's after not having read anything by her. Now I have two books by her. So there's a therapist involved and the therapist finds out that his boyfriend has a stalker and it's her ex-girlfriend, I suppose. It's another Leanne Moriarty. Maybe that's like a video concept, reading a bunch of Leanne Moriarty books. So lastly, this one, wow, she's heavy. This one is a very controversial book, I suppose. Um, People seem to really love it or really hate it. I think I saw Spence from Spensoria reading this recently and that was what made me really interested in it. And it's none other than House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danieleski. Danieluski. This is the book where it has like a bunch of like gimmicks inside. Like upside down. Like look at that. Look at that. It looks intense and I actually don't know what this is about like I have really no idea okay so I guess it's kind of like a bunch of pieces of papers bound together I have no idea it's so thick and so heavy it's like it's really heavy how would I read this it's so intimidating I don't know when I'll be in the mood for this but I've been so curious about it and this is a used copy so I thought it would be good to try it out. I love the spine though. It's so heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's it. That's all of the books. Okay, we have 29. We have 29 books in this unboxing. It is a lot. I have so many books now and I'm so excited. I'm so happy with all the books that I got. They look so pretty. Okay, this is dangerous, but look at them. All of them. They look so pretty. I don't know, I'm just happy that I'm expanding the genres that I have. I used to only have fantasy books in my library, but now I want to have other books as well so that when I'm, you know, when the mood strikes for different genres, I have them in my library. So I'm super excited, but I guess my next dilemma is that if you saw my bookshelf organization, you know that 
this bookshelf is full. Like, I literally cannot fit any more books in there. So I don't know where I'm gonna put any of these. Yeah, that's a problem for future Pam. Um, but for now, thank you for joining me for this book unboxing haul. This was quite fun, even though it was so hard to not open the boxes as I got them because I love opening packages. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! So